Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here and do a freeze test comparison between Sony Xperia XE Premium and Samsung Galaxy S8. A lot of people have been requesting this, uh, like a real uh, endurance test of the uh, waterproofing here. So we're going to freeze them for 12 hours. Uh, so we're starting at about 8 o'clock here and we're going to go all the way on to 8 p.m. Uh, so it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we do have two containers and we're going to put the phones in. Uh, so just before I do, I'll just show you. You can see there's no uh, you know, uh, stuff on the ports here. So it is quite risky. I don't know if both of them are going to survive, but it should be interesting nevertheless. You can see everything that is covered is covered at the moment. Uh, so l let's do it, you know, let's do it. I haven't actually seen many tests on the the Samsung Galaxy S8 in terms of the waterproofing. So I'll just show you this as well. You can see no uh, covers or anything, which is nice. So let's put them both in and zoom it out a little bit. So you can see we do have a jug of water here. And we're just going to put the jug in on both of them. So for some reason the S8 wants to take a selfie on the water here, which is very weird. But uh, maybe we can just sort this out. There we go. And this, I don't think you're going to be able to sort out because it's so crazy. I mean, look at that. I can't even unlock it. That's weird. Never mind. We're going to put. Oh, it unlocks itself. That's weird. Uh, so we're going to go and seal them up here, nice and quick. It's trying to put a Wi-Fi password in itself, the uh, XC. So yeah, let's uh, migrate over to the freezer. So we're just going to lift them up here get them on top of each other there we go oh so we'll put them side by side nice so you can see the Samsung screen is still on and so is the Sony and they are quite submerged here uh, so yeah I'm gonna leave them now for 12 hours uh, and then come back to them and then we're going to see you know how it is I'm gonna start a timer as well on a phone so what better phone to use than the uh, S7 Edge which has been frozen itself so many times I can't even remember uh, how many times we've done it uh, so where is the clock here so yeah you can see 12 hours let's go and uh, yeah I will see you later hey guys so welcome back we are now 12 hours later so it is as you can see uh, 8 o'clock here uh, so we are basically just waiting for the alarm to sound to make that official I think we have 10 seconds nearly Oh, I'm very excited. I gotta say, you know, I don't know if this is gonna be a catastrophe or not. Uh, we do have the drainage ready, as you can see. Uh, so let's go over to the freezer. Let's go and see, you know, what uh, we do have here. What do we have? Uh, so you can see we don't have much uh, in the way of life on the phones. Put them on top of each other and move over to the table. As you can see, 
don't know which one which actually at the moment but uh, I'm sure we're going to find out soon uh, you can see they are very frozen actually because I put the freezer on the max setting this time so we didn't get any like half kind of frozen phone uh, yeah so let's uh, check them out we're going to try and get them out of their tombs and see you know how they are right then so what do we have here we have two frozen phones and we're going to try and get them out here so what is this one what is this one this one I think is the Samsung maybe it looks like it so this one this one is the Sony I'm guessing no, this one, yeah, this one is a Sony. You can see that is Sony, uh, obviously. Uh, so very frozen here, you can see. Oh, nice. So <laughs> that was quite easy. Uh, let's just do the same here with the... Can we do the same? Oh, very nice. So you can see we do have two frozen flagships here. And uh, we're going to see if we can get them out. Oh, I'm going to get this out. I might have to do some drainage on them. And we do have the uh, drainage thing here, as you can see. <laughs> that looks pretty awesome, I've got to say. That does look pretty awesome. Let's just hope it still works, eh? It would be a crying shame for us Sony fanboys. If it wasn't, where's my boiling water? Do you have the red kettle? Oh, that's hot. So let's... Whoa, did you see that? That was a pretty awesome crack there. Look at that, self-cracking ice. Amazing. So hopefully the cracking doesn't extend to the phone. Because that would be pretty insane. So... Let's just uh, see here, is it hot? Not that hot, I think the ice kind of evens out the, the boiling water here. Can we get this out? Certainly looks nice. Nice. So quite an easy one to get out today. And that uh, is pretty cool. Uh, just for fairness, I'm going to keep this in the water while we get the Samsung out. I think I need some more water here. Oh. Oh, it's hot. Can we, can we balance this? Don't try this at home. Not that you're going to. Oh, can we get this out? I don't think EE -E is going to like this video, but it had to be tested eventually. Nice. So we do have them both out here, as you can see. And uh, this is the heart racing moment. Do they actually work? That is the question. Uh, so which one shall we try and turn on first? The Samsung. Let's go. Oh dear. So we're not getting any life here from the Samsung. And it did have quite a big battery like capacity. Uh, let's try the Sony here. Oh dear again. So they're both like not coming on here. No, no life from both of them. 
that would be an epic fail if they both like failed here let's just try and turn them on oh they're coming on so why did they turn themselves off that is really weird that has never happened before so you can see they are coming on here and they're so cold we just put them on the actual table in fact I don't want this water to spill everywhere because oh, I'm gonna have to stand up I think let's get this water out of the way shall we oh. so I heard the low battery ping there I think one of them has a low battery so the the XZ premium is shutting down here as you can see uh, because I think low battery so what we're going to do uh, is dry it because we don't want to say Samsung's one already you know we want to just make sure that uh, they're both kind of bit charged you can see the Samsung is saying moisture detected uh, so you know maybe the Samsung's one here in terms of you know keeping itself on but I am quite surprised that they both like uh, you know turned off here uh, so I think I've got a towel let's get the towel out nearly had a heart attack then you know two very nice phones which are claimed to be waterproof but maybe you know it's just uh, like they went to sleep to protect themselves or something we don't really know I think they are both IP68 certified so it should be you know good for submerging etc but I don't think they officially recommend it nowadays if you look at the website so we're just drying the Samsung here. And who won last time between these two? I think the last time I did this was with the S7 Edge and the XZ. And I think, as I remember, the XZ, you couldn't use the display for a while. So the Samsung kind of was a bit better. But so far, you know, quite uh, happy that the S8 has survived here, as you can see, and is working without any problems. <laughs> Even though I would have liked Sony to be up and operational. Let's just as well make sure the ports are dry. Because the last thing you want to do is uh, like fry the device. But I do want to try and get it like turned on at the same time. So it's a catch-22. Then we're going to test the speaker, we're going to test the camera, etc. See who recovers faster. Oh, so where is my Chotec? Where is Chotec? Is he on board? I think he is. Good old Chotec can bring any phone back from the dead. And you know he can. Emergency CPR here. Let's Go. You see, Chotec never fails. Can't fix the light bleed though, which is annoying, but yeah, you know, I think the Sony did survive here. I uh, will obviously keep an eye on it over the next couple of days just to make sure that is the case. Hopefully we can get enough juice for it to actually turn on so we can test it. So while it, it is charging a little bit, we're going to test the uh, Samsung here. So let's just try, uh, what should we try, the camera first. Where's the camera? So it went into selfie mode there. You can see. Very easy to use still can't get it right in terms of the orientation but I think you can see you can get it working uh, which is good uh, we do as well have the 
like speaker here so let's just test uh, like a game or something maybe we can test with some pop as well you know if they both do survive so it's a little bit uh, weaker than when it's normal but you can still hear it which is good uh, so those are the main tests obviously there's the charging as well so we're just going to yank this and put it into the Samsung which sometimes gives you a warning when you know you do this so yeah you can see it's giving the warning here which at first I thought was pretty annoying but then I thought yeah it's actually quite a good idea because it stops you from frying your device uh, so pretty good here for Samsung what do we have with Sony so I'm guessing we have a little bit of juice here just to test the device uh, but as usual, you know, it does seem to me that Sony is a little bit behind here, you know, completely turning itself off. Whether that's just like the battery endurance or something. But it does seem to me Sony is a bit behind again. And I'm getting that low battery noise, 7% battery. Uh, so hopefully we can get some tests here nice and quick Should get the camera up Not enough battery very nice So we don't want video just take a shot here And as you can see the auto rotate seems to be a bit messed up, but Maybe when it's dry it'll be better uh, So let's just try that again Can you auto rotate? No, you can't. So that is pretty weird, but uh, do we have the auto rotate locked? That's the reason. So you can see when we do unlock it, we do get auto rotate. And it does take the shot as normal. Uh, we do have a game as well, I think, here GTA. And I'm hearing some live from the speaker. So again, it's quite uh, low here in terms of the volume. It's probably about the same level as the S8. Uh, but you can certainly hear it. Oh, we've got uh, something weird here. It's actually vibrating. Can you hear that? What's that all about? I mean, I can use it, but it's vibrating. That is strange. Strange phone from Sony, yet again. What is that? So I've never seen this before on a and a freeze test so it's like uh, the volume the vibrator motor is just going mad in the phone and I don't know how to turn it off how do you turn it off bro it's weird because I can use the phone as normal but the the motor is just going mad here. Weird, weird, weird phone this is. But you know, this is what you get from Sony. At the end of the day, you, you do get weirdness. You know, there's no... I do like Sony phones, but it does feel like they're getting more weird as every year goes by. Whereas we, you don't get that with the Samsung. With the Samsung, you just get efficiency. Uh, so yeah, you know, you know. Let me know in the comments what I can do to do this because this is a weird issue. 
Uh, I'll probably just turn it off and let it dry for a bit just to see if that helps. Let's just try restarting it in fact. Weird Sony phone. It's even doing it when it's off. It's like off here. Wow, that is weird. Is it going to turn back on? Weird Sony phone. So I think I'm going to crown Samsung the winner here. Let's just be honest. Come on. It's more, you know, uh, less strange. And yeah, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Uh, I'd still recommend the XE Premium if you're looking for a great phone, but you may uh, want to be a bit careful around water. Uh, as, as I said, I will keep an eye on it, just make sure, you know, it settles down. But uh, yeah, just a quick little freeze test here with XC Premium and the S8. Do leave a comment. I'm interested in what you think about this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.